I'm Nate, and this is Ryan from Righteous Vendetta. And first of all, we're going to ask Ryan, where did Righteous Vendetta get its name? Uh, we got our name from, uh, our old drummer used to be, like, really obsessed with, uh, like, oxymorons, like Led Zeppelin, and, like, like names like that that didn't make any sense. And mm -hmm. so he was like, well, we should call ourselves Righteous Vendetta. And, because it kind of doesn't really make sense, you yeah. know, and um, that's kind of where it started, and then we were like, pretty sweet name, we Google searched it, and like, nothing popped up, so we were like, that's what we're doing. Easy, that's easy, okay. So, I had what? I had nothing to do with the name. Okay. <laughs> Our old drummer. Okay, sweet. <laughs> well, easy enough there, okay. Um, when did you decide, at least you, yourself, that you wanted to do this, like, for your life? Uh, a after, um, the first tour we ever went on, which was a complete flop and stupid, um, it was, like, the middle of my, co my, my second year of college. Uh-huh. When I was, like, I'm done with this school stuff, man, I'm going on the road. That's when I, like, really, it was, like, the second year of the band, probably. Okay, sweet. And so you're just, like, yeah, I want to do this for my life instead? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. I think Jacob has some questions now. All right. So we'll you, take the you camera. haven't met Jacob yet. He recently just, we actually met him after we came to that show. Um, oh, okay. We, yeah, so he's new, but here he is. What's up, Ryan? I'm Jacob. Hey, nice man. Meet you. What's up? Jacob. Um, I just wanted to ask you, uh, like, about what is the, you know, being a Christian band in a non-Christian world, what is the biggest struggle you guys face on tour? Uh, the biggest struggle uh, is probably um, living, like living up to the standard we're expected to. Um, we take it really seriously, and it's it's something that most fans don't and really don't care about. But it's really hard. Uh, it's probably the most challenging thing I've ever had to do in my entire life, um, and, and just like live that every day to day, like spiritual walk but while doing it on the road is like a whole other story because okay. the road's full of stress and you're tired and you're hungry and like so many things add up the last thing you know you, you, you want to think about is like reading your bible or, or praying you know and that's the biggest struggle is keeping your mind focused on um your you know the first the, the thing you started the band for in the first place that that's probably the biggest biggest struggle right What's your, uh, do you have like a favorite verse or a favorite worship song or anything that kind of keeps you going, gets you energized? Um, man, I, I, I love the whole Bible, man. And if I had to pick, you know, certain verses, you know, Matthew 4, 4, maybe, um, which is, uh, man should not live on bread alone, but by every word that pours from the mouth of God. Um, I, I like first Peter three fifteen where, uh, you know, we're called to, to always be ready to defend our faith. Um, you know, that, that's my whole goal in all this is, um, you know, to, to let people know that, you, you know, a lot, of, a lot of Christians get stomped by the intellectual community, like the scientific community. And, um, you know, my goal is to, to show them, you know, that Jesus gives us a power of mind that is greater than all other power. In fact, Jesus calls every other um, mindset that isn't of, his, of him foolish and so um that's that's kind of the goal here and we just want to you know love people and, and in the process you know prepare them for uh you know uh the the world the, the scientific community the, the the critics of the christian faith i guess yeah. is what i'm trying to say uh this is a little bit less deep but uh how do you <laughs> you're the singer right yeah yeah how do you keep your uh, vocal cords from just completely dying after, you know, singing and screaming every night? Yeah, because you guys do, like, uh, 500 dates a year, yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, um, dude, I, I, dude I, I don't do anything, honestly, man. <laughs> I, <laughs> wow. I, drink, I drink a lot of water. And, like, when I kind of, like, neglect my voice, like, I get dehydrated, I can tell. Like, I die. Mm -hmm. And, like, a lot of the times, you know, I'll have a great night where I can, you know, hit all my singing parts, and then the next night, like... I can't hit anything, and it's, you know, it's, it's one of those things I haven't pinpointed it yet, and, man, just stay hydrated, get, you know, get some sleep, you know, dude, I don't, I don't do anything, man, I'm really bad about that, I don't really take care of my voice at all, which I should. Okay. 
Cool. That's he's so hardcore. Take my advice, straight up. Out there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right is Chris up yeah, next? That's all I got. Sure. Okay, that's it for Jacob. Chris has a question, and then I'll wrap it up. Yeah, I have a question. This is Chris. He's rocking the RV tank right now. I don't know if you remember, yeah. Chris. You probably do. Dude, we got a new tank out. It's really sick. You got to really? check it out. Okay, I will we will. get that as soon as possible. Is a product <laughs> I love tanks. Chris loves spending money, and he loves tanks, so he'll buy it. <laughs> <laughs> good combination for me. <laughs> um, so okay, here's have, his question. Have any of you ever played on a worship team? And if so, how weird is it, like playing at church? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I used to play drums at my church. Ooh. Um and then Justin, our lead guitar player, and Carl, our other guitar player. Oh, and I guess Isaiah, too. Yeah, every member of the band plays on a worship team. Uh, except uh, Matt. Matt doesn't play on a worship team. Um, oh, come on, Matt. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sinner. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, dude, it's cool, man. I, I, haven't, I haven't played on the worship team God, probably in over a year. Just because I've been gone and I'm never home or anything. Um, but... Man, that's fun. I liked it a lot. I'm not really good at drums, and so all I did was play, like, like simple rock beats. Right. But, man, I love playing on the worship team. I miss a lot. Mm -hmm. Sweet. That's has cool. any, what would you say, um, has anyone else talked about that experience, like Justin or Isaiah or any yeah. of them? Um, I, we were just, uh, we were just at, in Isaiah's home for, you know, his, he lives in Corpus Christi, Texas. We were just there a couple weeks ago. And he played on his worship team while we went to church down there. Oh, um, sweet. And, you know, that's, that, that's like his life when he's home, man, is his church. His dad pastors the church down there. And uh, I know Justin used to be involved with, like, all the campus at our college, all the campus ministries and all the campus music that went on there. And so, man, all of us just, you know, have really been involved in worship teams, churches, whatever. And uh, it's all been great. We love it. That's really sweet. Okay. Good stuff. I am going to ask you one last thing, and Jacob's going to take this from me. Okay. I almost dropped the camera. Last thing I have to ask is if you were to say one thing to all the fans we've been getting, or all the people that follow our page, because we got a pretty consistent following now, what would you say to them yeah. about anything? I would, oh man. That, you know, there's a lot of people on that page, man. I, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's this starting to really explode, I guess. <laughs> yeah. This is coming from me. People on this page, if you're watching this, support your music scene because it's dying out and it sucks. And you need to keep going to shows. You need to keep supporting independent Christian bands um, because it is so hard uh, to even make it in the industry without being a Christian band, let alone uh, being independent and Christian. Man, it's a crazy industry. you got to keep supporting the bands if you want to keep getting music. And, uh, you know, keep supporting the, the scene. You know, Cornerstone, this is Cornerstone's last year. I don't know if you guys know about yeah, that. Yeah, we know that. That sucks really bad. That's a pretty big deal, man. Cornerstone yeah. is a big deal. And so that right there is saying something about, you know, what's going on right now. And so, you know, we need to come together as, uh, as a scene and, and, and all together in this music industry and, and really make a difference. You know, we got to stick together. So stick with it. Support the band. <laughs> We will not back down, we will not lose it far